Hey, you guys, it's King of the Day 6, a.k.a. Raymond. That's right. As you guys can tell by the story, I'm going to do something really crazy. And, whew, hope you guys will enjoy this uh, ghost story. Because it's going to be scary. It was a dark and stormy night. Unlike everything here in uh, California. And I was born. Ah! <laughs> I'm just playing. Um... I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit of a ghost story. And this is a true story, actually, because it all happened here. Not in this mobile home, but over there in the house. My parents, as you guys know, if you guys have seen me uh, do the videos of uh, me doing the hot sauce challenge and also the Carolina Reaper Pepper challenge, the house that I was in is actually my parents' house. So it's, it's a really big house, and I love that house. Uh, it was, I had some good childhood memories there. We had good Christmas, good Thanksgiving. It was amazing. But now, it's a ghost story for a reason. The title is called Ghost Story for a Reason. So, without further ado, let's talk about it. Now, my grand, my, my dad, uh, I, you've seen him in the videos. He actually lived in that house when he was a kid. And... Is my grandma actually told us a story that one day when she was uh, doing dishes and seeing her kids doing homework, she turned her head like this and noticed that she saw a man standing over her daughter's shoulder. And as soon as she went like this and looked back again, she, he was gone. Now, a lot of people were stay, saying that she said that this, and the place was haunted. And that was the one thing that made it scary. Although we were kids, I mean, we didn't know anything. But as for me, the one thing about me is, I, uh, you know how kids have a wildest imagination? When I was a kid, uh, we lived in a mobile home a little similar to what, you're see, what you see here right now. But when I was a kid, I always looked down the hallway. And I always see, like, some type of shadowy monster going like, rrr, 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 like that. And I was like, I actually moved up a little closer and just go see the, uh, watch the TV. And then all of a sudden, I would just always look back. And I was like, and then I could see that still thing going, rrr, 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 but it was my imagination to get the better of me. But uh, this is the thing, guys, you have to understand. Uh, if you, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the show uh, Blackout. Uh, it was a new it was a new show from the Sci-Fi Channel with host Jamal, uh, Jamal White. He, uh, if I said his name right, he actually... Host, uh, well, he hosts the show, but he was also best known for playing Steve Urkel in Family Matters. And he actually, when seeing all these couples uh, compete against each other to win money, they said, we're in the dark. They said, there's one thing you got to understand about when you're in the dark. Your mind goes in different places. Because the mind plays tricks on you when you're in the dark because you can't see anything. You cannot when you open your eyes, all you see is just darkness. All that. So the mind plays tricks on you. And I, when we see that show, you kind of understand. Because when he was touching a teddy bear, she said, What the? What is this? What, what is this? Like a, an animal or something? And when she said teddy bear, I said, Correct. It's like, teddy bear? Oh my god. And, it's just, and the, his partner said, See, the dark's playing tricks on you. And I was like, Wow. Huh. That is scary though. You never know. When they tell you that you got to have this, you have to do this and that, your mind's different because you're in the dark. But anyway, I, I'm talking off the story, but let's go back to my story. So, back in 2008, we moved here. We lived in that house. Now, nothing was weird as soon as we were there, but it, it was different than anything else. Um, now, there was another mobile home. Uh, that, that was right next door to me. This was not here when that was there. When that was there, this was here later, about two years later. But me and my brother lived in that house over there. My baby brother stayed with my parents. Now, this is where it gets scary. And I hope you guys understand what I'm about to say. So, my brother uh, got up one morning because he had to go to school. He was still in high school. So he was from freshman up, freshman to his, uh, up to his senior. And one day, he heard footsteps in the living room that was heading toward the kitchen. 
So my brother uh, yelled out loud, Hey dad, can you give me some coffee please? Because I, I, I want to wake up, I need something to wake up in the morning. And he didn't hear him. He didn't hear, okay son. So he got up, he heard the footsteps, as he looked down the hallway toward the entrance to the door that leads to the kitchen, he saw. He told me that he saw a shadow figure just standing there and all of a sudden disappeared. And my brother was like, he walked back in, closed the door, and just waited until daylight. It was 6 a.m., so it was still dark. But the sun was, start, uh, was already rising, so it was different. So that was it. Now, I would say it was kind of my fault. Actually, I would say it's my fault. If you guys wonder why you, why you say it's my fault, because of one thing. When me and my brother lived in that house over there, it was... Uh, we watched the Maury show, and we watched the thing about ghosts and ghosts and goblins doing this and that, seeing funny, like, funny videos. We happened to see Ghost Adventures. That's how I started watching Ghost Adventures, because they were the Maury show, because they were showing specials. Uh, they were talking about how on their episodes where they went to these scary places and went to these and seeing great evidence, seeing a birdcage fall on its own, seeing a brick fly by and hearing scary EVP and also hearing, uh, seeing how Zach got scratched on his back with three claw marks. And that got us uh, actually liking the Ghost Adventure series. So we started, we've been watching it ever since. And the funny thing was, I got the shows, and I was showing my brother, I was showing my brother, the, the was, it was season two, episode one, they went to Preston Cast, Castle in Ion, California, which is like two or three miles away from us. And when I showed it to him, he got scared. Because there was one, uh, one clip in there where they were inside, they said, come on, make yourself known, as they were waiting for a response, you could hear a girl saying, ah, do that. And my brother was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that. And let me tell you, uh, from then on, we, we've been watching it ever since. I was even watching it with him, my, my, with my brother. My parents would be asleep, but me and him, we watch it every night. So my brother said, okay, this is what I want you to do. I'm going to go into my room. And I'm going to shut the light, go in there and close the door. So I want you to shut all the lights off and when you exit home and go home, okay? I said, uh, okay. I said, ready? Ready? Okay, then. I shut all the lights off. And then I was, and then I went out. And I told my brother, I'm out. Okay. So, um, years went by and <laughs> here's something that really scared my brother to death here. My brother actually, um, felt something lift his legs up. He was asleep. He, as he woke up, his leg, he said he felt like his legs would lift up like this. And this is the bed. And then all of a sudden when he woke up, his legs were like, like that. So my brother, uh, it was 11 p.m. And me, I told me my brother, he's ready to go to bed. And we're going to bed. And all, all of a sudden I hear a, hear a, I was like, what is that? And my brother was back there and said, who is it? And I said, just stay there. I got it. As I opened the door, I see my brother. It's like, hey, bro, what's up? And as I looked down his hand, he had a rosary in his hand. And I looked at him like, bro, what, what, what's wrong? What, what, what's going on? He says, don't tell me you watch the show again. Watch the show. And he looked at me like, no, my legs lifted up. And I, when I woke up, it fell. And I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't go back to sleep. Can I sleep here, please? And I said, uh, okay, go, go ahead. I had to give him, give him my extra pillow, give him a blanket. And we had our doors open. I said, hey, bro, we, our doors are open. So let you know, we're here for you. And we'll be there for you. And then he just went to bed. And then he just, as soon as morning, as morning came, he actually just left, left our house, locked our doors, and went to school. And he told me about it. I was like, wow, that's creepy. So he stopped watching Ghost Adventures for a little while, but then after that he was starting to get brave enough to watch it and not be afraid. And I was like, good job. Now, <laughs> now that, that, that I'm almost done with this ghost story, but nothing is 
it has nothing compared to what happened to me and my brother while we're over there in that other house. Now, think about this for a sec. My, bro my brother and I, we, we were about to go to bed. My brother always plays music because he couldn't sleep. And my brother always tell me that you snore a lot. That's why I play my music because you snore a lot. And I was like, I don't, I don't snore. So I actually bought a, bought a digital recorder, like the stuff you see Ghost Adventures have and everything. So I was like, okay, fine, I'll do it. Uh, I'm gonna record myself and I'm gonna see if I'm right. So I left it on for almost eight to nine hours. I fell asleep. As I woke up, I was listening to myself snoring, and I was like, wow, I really do snore. Then all of a sudden, I heard a voice on my digital recorder. It was a girl saying, hi, and it, there was music playing. I was like, what the hell? I went to my brother, and I, I showed him that, listen, listen to this. As, as I played the digital recorder, he heard the hi, and then... When he, said, when he played the music, he's like, it's ever since you played that, you played, it was in this song. And I was like, you know what, I know this song. He, let me go get it. I grabbed this, he grabbed the, his, it was a mixed CD, so either way, it was a burnt CD, so it had 18 songs, so. He said, I know this song. Uh, it's, uh, and when he was, list, we were listening to find out what the song was, we found it, it's like, okay. I said, there it is. I said, all right, let's listen to it. So we listened to the song from the beginning to end. There was no high in that song so i was like bro we just caught an evp on my digital recorder you can hear me snore but then after the when you heard the the heard your song playing you heard a hi and that was it my brother was freaked out and i said okay that was crazy so it was it was it was t crazy as hell man Boy, I get the goosebumps just talking about it, man. It was just, that was unbelievable. So every night, well, I, I usually do it like three times a, a week. But I I would just do that and see what else I got. I, I could hear somebody, with, with thanks to my brother playing music, one time you can hear uh, the song, uh, the playing was called I Swear by All for One. And as I heard it, I could hear like a lady said, Jaden? And I was like, what the hell? You could hear a lot. And and after that, I heard uh, some, some like, two guys talking. And there was one like, no, 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 no. I was like, what the hell? I, I was we got to get freaked out. My brother was trying to get freaked out. And one morning, when he got up, my brother said that he had a, a pain on his side. And as I looked, he had a like this size of a bruise on his back. And I was like, bro, how'd you get that? And I was like, I don't know. I was I don't know. I don't remember. I don't even, I didn't hit anything. And I was a little freaked out. I was, and my brother looked at me and said, you know, maybe you should stop doing this because what if something happens? So I stopped. Now, bear in mind, guys, there was one reason why I think we kept hearing voices uh, in this mobile home, there was an extra room. We call it the white room because well, it was all white and everything. It was supposed to be an extra master bedroom. It had a, a tub, everything, but it wasn't finished. Ever since we got rid of that room, we didn't hear any more voices. So something tells me that whatever was in that white room, that, that's where the voices came from. But then ever since we got rid of it, I, we didn't hear any more voices. I actually wanted to make sure and see if we ever did. I let, laid it out one day, fell asleep, woke up, I listened to it. I listened about four hours. And believe it or not, I did because I was, pl I, was playing, uh, I was playing on my PS3. And so far, no voices. I was like, huh. I, told my, I looked at my brother and said, hey, ever since we got rid of that room, no voices. So I think whatever was in that room is not there anymore. So it was crazy. I mean, it was one of the craziest things ever. In the back of my mind, I was wondering like, wow. I mean, these people were actually living in this house, the white room, the white room was actually falling apart. It kind of made you wonder like, what the hell were they doing in there? 
I, I didn't, me and my brother didn't think nothing of it. All we know is that they had cats and they really messed up. They, and they really messed up the place because last time when my, when me and my brother were at work, I found out my mom and my aunt actually tore apart uh, the rug that was inside that house to prepare for a new rug. And they said that as soon as they lifted it up, it was so gooey underneath, it was like, like, ugh. There was a lot of cat crap, everything. It's like they never washed it. My aunt and my mom kept going out every single time, like they told me, because they couldn't stand the smell. They finally got rid of it, and bam. It took, I can tell you guys this. It's been 10 years. We lived in this property for almost 10 years now, and it's really amazing how we've changed everything. This is a 10 acre ranch. Oh, uh, by the way, before I close this video, there's also one thing I'd like to say. Um, my dad was actually off work one day. My dad actually told me this, <laughs> even with my mom around. She, he told us that, you know, I actually was in this house by myself and I asked, is this you? And she said that this was his grandmother or somebody. And I said, if you're doing this, I want you to stop scaring my son because you're scaring him and I don't like that. And ever since my dad did that, it stopped. So, I told my brother that. I mean, this was 10 years ago. My brother was, how old, 10 years ago. So I was 22 when, when we moved in here. My brother was, oh, 26. He was, he was 16. He was 15 or 16. Whew. It's crazy. That was crazy. It was like, wow. He was 16 years old. He was a sophomore in high school. And that happened. It's weird how time flies. 10 years. Now the reason why I say it's 10 years because it was 2008. That was when we seen uh, Iron Man and all the way up to the Avengers Infinity War, as you guys know. <laughs> so, well guys, that was my ghost story. Now, bear in mind, I know you guys think that, oh, I'm making this up. Nope, this was real. That stuff happened. You want to know how I believed in it? Because of one thing, pictures. Ever since I lost my godmother, and after that my grandpa and, every, and a lot, most of my family members, my mom has been taking pictures a lot because she always has a camera to want to make memories. As we looked in the pictures, there's always these white orbs inside these pictures. Now, bear in mind, guys, it it couldn't be dust because dust has like a snowy, snowy appearance, and it couldn't be a bug because bugs you, you can actually see the wings. <coughs> but and this and it would have been the light, but she used a flash. I'm sure the flash it, it made it create the orbs, but my mom never uses flashes at all. She, there's always a lighting. It was perfect. Took the picture, and then about a week later, we got them developed. We see it, and now we got these uh, these these phones that actually can be able to be able to use our flash and everything. Have them in our hands instead of using buying film for it. It was still crazy. As you. So I got into it. I was into the paranormal ever since I watched Ghost Adventures on that day on the Maury Show when we seen how it was in season one that he told us that season two started. So we start, we watched from season two, but we got season one. We watched then. We watched it all the way through, all the way now, all the way till now. So it was a great experience. You know, learning about all this. What was that? Oh, my phone. <laughs> learning about. <laughs> Funny how I'm talking about ghost stories. Somebody just uh, tweeted me. <laughs> it was weird how it, you see something different. I mean, it's like that saying goes, are we alone in this world or are we really alone? I mean, you can hear knocks, you can hear taps. Those are just little things that they're trying to, they're saying that they're there. But it's, it makes you see it differently. It really does. So for me, I've been doing ghost tours. I've been uh, 
from 2016, I actually started going to the ghost tours because somebody left a flyer on my car window. These these three women are, were doing ghost tours all through the city of Brentwood. And, hey, it was a long drive for me, so I wanted to just do it anyway. So, we went to the Byron Hot Springs. This was an old, old... <laughs> oof. This was an old, old building. It, it was a hotel for the stars like Charlie Chaplin, Clark Gable, the classic ones. But then, when World War II happened, it turned into a concentration camp for Japanese and Germans. And that place was burned down twice. And, man, that kind of scared me right there. <laughs> so, we went up there. They said that the third floor was actually dangerous because it wasn't, it, they say because it wasn't proper, it wasn't built right up there. So, they, the guys went up there because these were other investigators, paranormal investigators. They said that, uh, I asked him, how was it up there? He said, I don't know, it felt uneasy up there. I felt like I was underwater. <laughs> my, my stomach was messing with me. I was like, wow. Hmm. And then after that, we went to the Byron train wreck, as you guys may have seen on my video I did. Uh, these, pe these ladies used an EM pump, which it produces electromagnetic, makes an electromagnetic field. And I actually took a picture with a flash, and there was two orbs floating over it. And the ghoster said to... Uh, build the electromagnetic field around them so they can be able to, you can be seen or also see the orbs fly by. And that was crazy. All I can say, guys, is that uh, you can believe if you, believe it or not, there are ghosts out there. We're not really alone in this world, are we? I mean, a lot of people believe there's aliens out there and <laughs> they said that's the, that's the one thing that you don't want to believe. But with spirits... I mean, think about Halloween for a sec. It's all, it's all Hallow's Eve. I actually read something... I read about why do, why do we wear costumes for Halloween? And it gave me an answer. It said that spirits can go into people because they recognize you. But when you wear costumes, they don't know that it's you. They, they think it was somebody else. It's like, where are they? Where is he? And they would look for you. So, but if you guys watch the movie Coco, then this is where the the spirits rise from the graves and see and the walks walk among us only for that one night. And Coco's a very good movie. If you guys ever want to ever see have never seen it, watch it because it's a sad it's a sad movie because it had an Oscar winning song that made me cry. It's called Remember Me. So if you ever get a chance, there you have it. <laughs> well, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reaction, more gameplay. Drop some likes on this video if you enjoyed this. <sighs> well, that was my ghost story. That was my experience with uh, the paranormal. Uh, how my brother, how my brother is affected by it, and my how the family was. The family hated that I did that. You know, use the EVP, get EVPs from this. My mom did not like it, and then neither did my dad. So. I've, I found it cool. My my brothers found it cool, but then after that, uh, you know that saying, enough is too much. So, <laughs> I've been talking about it a lot, so after that I stopped. But then after that, I, after when I did YouTube, I wanted to do a, give up my experience for it. So it was really, it was really an honor to do this. And also, I wanted to share my story. So there, and there you have it. And hopefully on Storyfire, when they do the video series, I could be able to put this up on, on Storyfire and share it with everybody. But I'm sharing it with you guys, so I hope you guys enjoy. Well, guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more reactions or gameplay. Drop some likes if you enjoyed this. And above all, like I always say, stay positive, guys. And
Mm. Hi, who's here with me? Yeah. 